Okay, hello everyone. For today's video, i-discuss natin yung pang-week number 2 ng fourth quarter. At ang topic natin is Illustrating theorems on triangle inequalities and applying theorems on triangle inequalities. So, ito yung tungkol sa hinge theorem at yung converse of hinge theorem. So, at the end of the session or at the end of, the, of this video, you will be able to achieve the following objectives. Una, you can illustrate hinge theorem and converse of hinge theorem. Second, you can apply theorems in triangle inequalities. So, simula na natin. Ano nga ba ang hinge theorem? So, kung makikita ninyo sa screen, hinge theorem is known as the SAS inequalities or the side angle side. At kung matatandaan ninyo sa previous discussion natin regarding triangle congruence, na discuss na natin at naipaliwanag o naipaliwanag ang tungkol sa side angle side triangle congruence. So, alamin natin kung anong ibig sabihin nitong theorem na to in terms of triangle inequalities. So, ayan. Nasasaad na if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle and the included angle of the first is larger than the included angle of the second triangle, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. So, sa madaling sabi, we are comparing two triangles here na kung saan yung isang included angle ay mas malaki kaysa doon sa pangalawa. So, in other words, yung opposite side ng larger angle will be the longer side compared to the second side. So, magbigay tayo ng example para mas madali ninyong maunawaan ang klase ng theorem na ito. We have two triangles here na kailangang i-compare gamit ang hinge theorem. First triangle is triangle JOY and second triangle is triangle SAD. We're in side JO, base dito may double markings, is equal to side SA na merong double markings din. Side JY is equal to side SD. So, let's classify or identify rather yung included angle. So, sa first triangle na triangle JOY or OJY, ang included angle rito is yung angle J. While on the second triangle na triangle A, S, D, ang, ang included angle dito is angle S. Ngayon, kung papansinin po natin yung opposite side ng angle J, which is side O, Y, side O, Y, and the opposite side of angle S is side A, D, we can say that Side OY is greater than side AD since the measure of angle J is greater than the measure of angle S by hinge, hinge theorem. Hinge theorem. Okay? So, yun po yung first example natin. The second example, meron na tayong given measures. So, dito... Using the same figure, meron tayong JO, same lang din, equal siya sa side SA. Side JY is equal to side SD. At ang sukat daw ni angle J ay 54 degrees. Take note, ang 
ang included angle natin is angle J which measures 54 degrees. While on the second triangle, ang included angle natin is angle S which has 78 degrees. So if we will compare the two angles, angle J is actually less than angle S. So the measure of angle J is less than the measure of angle S since 54 is less than 78. So, yung, op yung opposite side ni J, which is side OY, automatic that this side is also less than to the other side, which is side AD. And side AD is the opposite side of angle S. Ayan po. So, yan po yung comparison ng side OY and side AD. For the third example, ito po yung ating problem. May triangle USN and triangle EMT or triangle SUN, triangle MET. So, ang ating sides, um, SU is equal to ME, SN is equal to MT. And then, base dito, yung measure ng angle S is 94 degrees and the measure of angle M is 80 degrees. So, which is larger? Angle S or angle M? Obviously, angle S since 94 is greater than 80. So, if we will be comparing the opposite sides of the given angles or included angles, we can say that side UN, you notice that side UN is the opposite side of angle S. So, side UN is greater than the side ET. ET is the opposite side of angle M. So, from this, let's answer the following questions. For letter A, ayan, so, which side is longer? So, na-mention na natin kanina. Since angle S or the measure of angle S is greater than the measure of angle M, we can conclude that the opposite side of angle S, which is side UN, is greater than or longer than the side ET. And next question. We need to find the value of X. So, based on the figure, since UN, side UN, is longer than the side ET, we can say that 2X is greater than 18. So, by substitution, ayan po, 2X is greater than 18, and by dividing both sides by 2, we can have X is greater than 9. So, ang ating value of X or the uh, obtain inequality based on our solution is x is greater than 9. So, pag sinabing greater than 9, there are many possible answers. So, uh, numbers na mas malaki sa 9. So, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and etc. So, ibig sabihin up to positive infinity. Since wala po mention na range or yung kung hanggang saan siya. Okay? So, Yan po yung ating x is greater than 9. And for the follow-up question, for letter C, let's list down 3. So, tatlo lang yung ibibigay nating posibleng haba ni side un, no? So, ang un natin representing the expression 2x. So, gaya ng nabanggit at nakuha nating value ng x kanina, ang value ng x daw ay mas malaki sa 9. So, x must be greater than 9. We can substitute any number to variable x. So, let's say for example, 10. 10 is greater than 9. So, we substitute it to the expression 2x. So, 2 times 10, we have 20. So, one possible length of side UN is 20 units or 20. And then, if you are about to substitute 11, you can have 22. If you will substitute 12, uh, 12 you can have 24. So, here are the three. 
possible integral length of side u n. And actually, base sa sinabi ko, there are more. Okay? So, if you have questions, feel free to ask by writing your questions on the comment box below. Okay, move on to the next slide. Let's Okay, let's talk about converse of hinge theorem. So, sa converse of hinge theorem, we are, per of, we are pertaining to SSS inequalities or the side-side-side inequalities. So, let's discuss the content of this theorem. Ayan. So, if the two sides of one triangle are congruent to the two sides of the second triangle, and the third side of the first triangle is greater than the third side of the second triangle, then the included angle of the first triangle is larger than the included angle of the second triangle. So, sa madaling sabi, okay, kapag yung dalawang sides ng isang triangle ay congruent doon sa dalawang sides ng pangalawang triangle, at kung mapapansin ninyo, yung pangatlong side ng isang triangle ay mahaba o mas mahaba compared dun sa pangalawang triangle. Yung third side ng pangalawang triangle, it follows that the opposite angles, their opposite angles are also different. So, the larger the angle or the longer the side, the larger the angle. The smaller or the shorter the side, the smaller the angle. So, Explain natin using some examples. Ayan. So, meron tayong dalawang triangles. Triangle AMY and triangle EFB. Which has side AM is equal or side MA is equal to side FE. Side MY is equal to side FB. So, Kung makikita ninyo doon sa ating first triangle, your side AY is longer than the side EB on the second triangle. So, since AY is the longer side, automatic that the opposite angle of this side, which is angle M, will be the larger angle. So, dito sa side EB, since ito yung shorter side, we can say that the opposite angle of this side is the smaller angle. So, kung i-compare natin yung dalawang angles na to, angle M and angle F, we can say that angle M is greater than angle F. So, we can write as the measure of angle M is greater than the measure of angle F. So, yan po yung ibig sabihin ng converse of hinge theorem. More examples. So, ito siya. Triangle MEN and we have a bisector here which is side EA. Okay? And it bisect actually the side MN. So, meron tayong side MA and side MA. And by markings, at by definition of the bisector, angle bisector, or, uh, yeah, bisector, MA is equal to NA. So, here is the following given. Ayan. So, MA is equal to AN. EA is equal to EA. Uh, by reflexive property of equality, if you still remember. Ayan. So, sabi dito, EN, this side, is greater than the side EM. So, the question is, we have to compare the measure of angle E, A, M, and with the measure of angle E, A, N. So, gamit yung given natin, ito siya. Side EN is greater than side EM. So, this is EN and EN is longer than EM. So, ano ba yung opposite side or opposite angle rather? Ulitin ko, opposite angle ng side EN. So, ang opposite angle ng side EN ay yung itong angle na to, which is angle EAN. 
So, ito yung larger angle compared to this angle. EM, which is the opposite side of angle EAM. So, maliit siya. Smaller angle siya. So, pag i-compare natin yung dalawa, we can say that the measure of angle EAM is less than the measure of angle EAN. Since yung dalawang binanggit na sides, ayan, so EM is less than side EN. So, follow up question. What if the measure of angle EAN, EAN is 98? So, let's find the measure of angle EAM. So, as you observe, these two angles are linear pair. So, we just simply subtract uh, 180 and 98 to get the supplement. Okay? So, 180 minus 98 you have 82. So, the measure of angle EAM is nine, uh, 82. Okay, 82. Yan. So, kung may tanong, feel free to write your questions on the comment section below. So, that would be the end of the discussion of hinge and converse of the hinge theorem. So, but I would like to end the discussion with this quotation. Every accomplishment starts with a decision to try.